This video is on the mighty Leo 1 in War Thunder and features the flying death Dorito, the Horton 229. Hope you guys enjoy this intro. I'm gonna go up on the back side of this hill. It's a T54. I meant to hit him lower than that, but this is what we got. There's a fully stabilized British boy right here too. It's a new. He just died. There's a Canavaran. A T114. I ricocheted this guy. Something's back there. I just got hit by that airline, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Well, we're using ground belts, so to actually damage this thing uh, is going to be hard work, I'm being honest with you. Right, I got his engine crit. We'll keep him turning until his engine burns out. Just poking holes clean through it. He's gonna get shot down, look. Gone. I'm gonna try and slot myself behind this thing. He's dead. Oh, you pulled up. One gone. Lost the other one. Did he pull up vertical or something? Oh, there he is. SU6 or something like that. I totally lost him. I totally lost him. I can just use my slow turn speed. <laughs> look at look at me go then. Oh, there's flaps as well. Oh my goodness. He's a pretty high velocity gun, so oh, don't, don't dive away, you want to keep me vertical. Is that friendly? SPA is getting close to me as well. I think it is. He's using his rudder. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I wasn't actually going to make a video today. I was going to take a day off and start early tomorrow. But I saw someone on a forum somewhere say that the Leo one was absolutely garbage. Now, when you say something like that and you bring a Scotsman out of retirement, well, at least it was just one day, okay? Then you've definitely effed up. Now, when I first played this vehicle, I was paid £100 sterling. That's about $130 or Monopoly money, as we call it. To play this thing and try and spit it using Hesh only. Cue the next 30 games of me only getting a single kill every match. I had to go for parts, then I had to go for the, the Besh, and then go for FPE, Adjustment of Fire, blah blah blah. You get the idea. And then I played one game with the APDS, and it brought me from a negative KD all the way up to a positive, and this is when this thing was 7.7. .7. So I played a grand total of two games, one to get the intro as I normally do. That's this one here where we lost the match in Mozdok. And then number two, yeah, that's the only match I'm going to show you today. Just raw footage, straight from start to finish, just playing the Leo 1. Our APDS shell has 300mm of penetration. There is literally no vehicle that we'll come up against that can survive a hit from this thing, so long as you hit the right spot. The German engineers who outfitted this turret decided that they wanted the Hubble Space Telescope to be its optic. And even though I don't have the engine and transmission upgrades, we got 750 horsepower and we only weigh 40 tons. This tank is very, very good and you just probably don't know how to play it right, Mr. Forum Man. It's one of the first German vehicles that doesn't get reliable armor. I say that, this thing still hasn't been volumetricized, so sometimes you can actually bounce a 122 depending where it has your mantlet. But this thing is the snipe god and it can brawl really, really well. Roll the footage. Right, I just joined another game. Straight off from uh, where were we? Not Kuban, Mozdog. So we're still the exact same modules. I'm actually researching suspension by accident and I forgot to change it. But uh, it would be really nice to get the heat shell. I'm doing some long range stuff. We should be alright with APDS though. 
on most maps APDS is the best anyway it's easier to aim it negates bushes and trees and fences and all that sort of stuff whereas heat if we were to use heat on this map there's so many walls and fences around about cap areas it generally tends to not work out very well so APDS is what we're going to be rocking I'm not sure the diameter of this sable. I wish I told you that actually. Does it? No, it does not. But uh, I'm firing out this cannon. Uh, it should be a lot bigger, I would imagine, than a 90 millimeter. Even if it's five millimeters in diameter or larger, the actual sable, like the shell itself, the projectile should do a lot more spawning in theory it's heavier too which is good heavy fast lots of damage just physics that is just physics and we got a fight kicking off over here we got Brits what is that there? Does it have a stabilizer? Is the next question. Oh. I had my really, really bad shot. Wait, I mean, that that IS might be a bit of a problem now that he knows where I am. See. He's been contested. Wait, can this? I don't know if I can get a shot on that guy actually. It's coming my way. That is goddamn manly. And the, the other big boy's coming as well now. I think it's pretty unlikely I'm getting any assistance over here. Sound is really weird, right? The big guy actually drove down the street. I don't have any smoke. There's a KBZ coming. No, oh, he's going the other way. Did he die? I think he died. Right, we're going. Oh, that was stressful. Yeah, our team's on C. There's a T25 over here. My shift here again. Right. There's a heavy tank next to this AML. He's been scouted. The audio is really weird for me. There's a lot of noise, but none of it is like information. Oh. Give me ammo. Oh, okay. A full crew knockout is fine too. Right, uh, I'm happy with what we've done. I just want to prove that the Leo is not a bad tank. Oh, man's out here in his SU. I'm getting bombed. Yeah, I'll be back for you, dude. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll just stay here then, shall I? 
Oh no, I may, I may be getting bombed again. Oh no, there's a 2 1 Nina up. And he lost the feet. I think I can hit this guy. APDS, 105 millimeter, 1500 meters a second. E44 100. These things are pretty bomb proof, I need to be very careful with it. He's a good shot. Just like that. There are a lot, a lot of planes coming in. Okay, chop the wing off that one. Stop shooting at me. Oh my god. He, he just lost the wing as well. Where did the other guy go? Oh, there's, there's the IL. E47 got blown to smithereens, but it was a Corsair up as well, I think. I may actually be a super Corsair. I should honestly check the battlefield. Right, we've, we've been victorious over in sea. I need to go elsewhere now and help my teammates. The Leo one's one of the best tanks in the game. And you'll never change my mind. Especially 7-3. And I don't even have the rangefinder for it yet. Just speed alone. For its battle rating. Superb. They're about to get top down, probably. No, he's not interested in me, thankfully. He may have scouted somebody over here. Oh yeah, 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 I see him dude. He's down in that little valley. Right, my, my squad mate is on B. Man, that loader track horizontal. That is a very good hit. See this gunner now. There it goes. Of course he is out here working his 50 cows. Did he just go vertical? My teammate just shot him down. It was a super course here. Right, we're doing we're doing well. Our team is doing great. Really good. Well, B and C. My squad mate is on the ball. We've lost C a little bit. My squad mate needs help. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. He's on a Panther A. Getting shot at by an anti-air and a super purging. Holy crap. Burger Boo's anonymous. <laughs> right, okay, we're gonna take this guy's breach out. I need that ammo rag right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look his smiley face on that, it's funny. Right, I've got a teammate shooting at the super purging there. He's shifting his attention to me. I can't see him. Too much zoom. There's a Centurion Mark III out here as well. But he's so close to me too, look. Yes, see you Lorraine. Thank you very much, dude. 
Right, they got B. Where's the scent mark 3 at? I have no idea where that scent is. We're getting A back. Did they just cap this too? Oh. Find them. Anti you? SU 37, I think. Another plane. This has been really exciting, actually. Uh huh. That was really risky what I was doing. That Lorraine's repairing. I'm gonna let that guy get the cap with me. Hold on. I still can't get high enough to do the damage to him. That is a big rocket. We're alright, we're alright. We survived it. No crew missing. We might get 50 cal though. I'm actually not going to... Turn my gun the other way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, do that. And then when he flies over me... Damn. Yes, okay, good. Good stuff. I'll take that as we shot him down. Made him panic. <laughs> we made him panic. Right, four enemies left. Double ace and a plane. Double ace on a plane. Good old Leo, dude. You don't need your tank to do anything special when it does everything. Really. Once we get the smoke launchers for this, the engine upgrade, the heat in the rangefinder. Oh man, different animal. So we're almost completely stuck, Leo. Almost. Hopefully after this match in the Mozdok one, we'll be like golden. Attention to the designated grid square. Oh, that's a really nice shot there. Yeah, don't don't uh, don't hammer your brakes with the Leo. If you're using it, you want to just gradually slow down with it. I see it in the What a boss. What a boss. That one looks dead up there. Yeah, he, he's definitely gone. I don't like Italy as a map, if I'm completely honest, but when you do get a good game on Italy, it's normally a very good game, and this has definitely been that. My rain's coming along with me. Kinda sad I couldn't save my friend from earlier this, my squad mate. I hope he forgives me. I mean, he just bombed a medium. I can't get over how fast that Lorraine can be. I think there's a tank to my right. I think I just saw a cupola. If he's there, he's there. I hope this guy who's on A is not expecting me to come from his spawn side. We're very loud, the Leo's loud. So you'll hear us coming. Enemy 
got him. There's another one here. Unless it's the Lorraine. Attention to the map. No, he, he's definitely heard somebody. And he got him. We've captured most of the strategic zones. Right. They're on B again. Well, a decap A. We're gonna head to B. We just kept this moving. Now, if we were in a, a slower tank, this would have been a really rubbish game. <laughs> but luckily, luckily we were a Leo. Luckily. Wait, he's not on the cap. Yep. I'm on my way then. So a bulldog just died. And this guy is still on B. He's actually on the cap. It might be that another British sent. He just got smacked. I know where he's hiding. In that little villa. Can we get him before the game disappears? No! <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG. Whenever you have a tank that has a very good gun for its battle rating, and then everything else around about it is just good enough, or maybe a little bit better than that, you end up with a Leo 1. It's probably the most dull looking tank there is. It's the first of the sort of MBTs. Kind of akin to like a Centurion, but it's a lot more fun for me to play. And now I know a lot of people will say, oh, just set at the back of the map with this thing and snipe with it. D don't. Use its speed. Get yourself to a good spot. You can brawl if you need to. Just don't overextend too much. Make sure you've got a little bit of cover between areas where enemies flow and the caps that you're going to, etc. Just don't be indirectly in a sight of somebody that's just going to peek out from a rock and snipe you. The same goes for any tank. It's just that in a Leo 1 for an MBT that has decent armour, you're a lot faster than most things at 7.3 anyway. You can traverse hilly terrain, you can get yourself up to a sneaky spot right in the middle of the map, normally elevated, you've got good gun depression to utilise. There's really nothing wrong with this tank. Nothing at all. Anyway, it's just turned midnight. It's technically my day off. I'd just like to thank everybody for watching the video. You guys are all awesome. I'll be back again, not tomorrow, the day after, with kind of a big announcement, hopefully. Fingers crossed. A big shout out to all my patrons over on Patreons as usual, especially the tier 3 peoples. It's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Bill L, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Gateway, Houndy, Ian, Justin Darling, Ken the Salt Lord, Kayla White, Ralph, Rige, Stoyan, The Fire Piper, Trash Panda, Useless Tortilla, Van Ayn, Warpig, Zemma, Ollie Fox, Yokbo, Shaf, J Tormy, and Mr. Buzzwell. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye.